Hey, wonderful 100K sub viewers. Thank you so much. Today, why is the sun actually black? While studying plasma for you, I discovered this really strange effect of ionized fourth state of matter is that it doesn't emit photons. I think I'm probably getting ahead of myself. So let's unpick what I've just told you and maybe we can explain why possibly our star, our sun, is actually either totally transparent, but actually I think it's a black sphere. Have I lost it? Or have I revealed an interesting fundamental thing about physics? So Crazy Simon's obviously lost it. Well, actually not, because you and I have to understand how light is produced. Everything that we see with our eyes coming from the sun or from a light bulb are these weird things called photons. And photons are a decay product. It's a bit of thrown away energy. When an electron moves from a higher energetic state down to a more stable orbit to produce the stable stuff that we have around us, we live in an incredibly stable place which is very, very, very unusual. Most of the universe is a completely unstable, a turbulent, swirling mass of ions, atoms that are being stripped apart. But here on Earth, no, we, um, we have pliers that keep working made of metal and complex car you know, carbon chain plastic, and it doesn't like go poof, it stays together and us clever humans can use those qualities of stable atomic matter to build airplanes and sit in them and go all the way to Hawaii, <laughs> if only. <laughs> but um, I swear Mrs. H is at present. I'm here on the farm feeding the animals. I love the animals, so I don't really mind, but Hawaii would be nice. But back to why is the sun actually black? Well, because ionized gas, the sun, which is matter which has been, you know, atoms which have been stripped apart. So the electrons are now disassociated with the nucleus, the protons, and they're flying around in this turbulent, very turbulent state because they become electromagnetic which is an incredibly useful property of plasma because you can steer it with a magnet. But it's complicated because the electromagnetic forces either attract or repel. So you imagine in a plasma, these ions are all flying around, attracting or repelling each other and also pushing out sideways. So if you've ever seen a plasma, like in a plasma globe, uh, it's all swirly because it's all repelling each other. It's causing turbulence. Uh, but there's another amazing fact about plasma. Is that plasma actually is invisible. If, if a gas is 100% ionized, there's no photons produced. So when we see something like this, the northern lights, what we're seeing is high up in our Earth's atmosphere, charged particles are ionizing the top part of our Earth's air. And then when it recombines, and that's the incredibly important point, when ionized gas recombines and goes back into stable, normal pliers, or gas in that case, up in the atmosphere, it produces a photon, a light bulb goes off in all different colors. And that's what beautifully we see the pinks and the blues and the greens and the reds. 
but a truly ionized, a hundred percent ionized sphere of gas. A star, which is an ionized stuff, is completely photon free. So effectively, a star, our sun, is black. Look at this. But please, sir, please, sir, it's not black, it's bright. Yeah, yeah. So why is the sun bright if it is a giant ionized ball of plasma which actually has no photons produced? It's the surface of the sun, the bit where the ionized ball of gas recombines that produces photons. And only the surface of the sun is glowing. <laughs> Actually, the inside does have a glow, but that's complicated. It's just because not all of it is 100% ionized. But that apart, if it was 100% ionized, the center, the inside of the sun would just be a black ball. It would have mass, it would have gravity, it would have all the electromagnetic attraction of a giant star, but it wouldn't emit photons, only the outer edge. And you, can see that at home. Have you ever lit one of these? Yeah, a candle. What you're seeing, if you look very carefully at a candle flame, is the wick surrounded by a clear transparent area. That's invisible plasma. And then on the edge of the transparent area, there's a blue glow another plasma effect, and then just above it, there is a flickering, and the flickering is part of the plasma recombination, the flame. And that's where the plasma becomes re-ionized. The electrons snap back into the complex of the beeswax or whatever the candle's made out of, and releases the energy from the heat as a light source, a candle, one candle power. Yeah, that's what we measure light in. So in fact, your candle is the best bit of plasma physics you can ever look at at home. It's got everything. It's the sun. And it proves that the sun, as a fully ionized star, is either black or transparent. It doesn't have any photons. It's only when the stray electrons recombine with their nucleus and produce a stable orbit again, it throws away a photon. And that's what we see with our eyes. Um, questions <laughs> or more details? Remember, just remember, I'm an acquiring mind. I'm a science researcher. I'm not an astrophysicist. So if you work in plasma, you work in candles, you study the sun, tell us more interesting details. And because this is social media, because science and social media is so great, it's not a closed book when I finish. I'll read your comments. I'll listen to what you have to say. And if you add extra information which I think is interesting and make a second film, or it'll just be in the discussion underneath this film, the debate about science continues on social media and doesn't stop at the end of a TV broadcast. That's my mission, to carry on with this channel, to share ideas, to have you as experts add more stuff to my little starting points that I'll put out. If you find this interesting, subscribe, <laughs> give this film a like, and remember, because of you, the truth will always be out there.